right back here with another motherfucking reaction. We're at currently 109 followers. We're going up, guys. We're fucking actually doing it. Let's keep fucking going up, man. The art of being submissive. First. My bad. Play back my man and it works for us. First step is get with somebody who wants what you have to offer. I think love and submission is a tailored fit. It's okay. not a one size fits all. So I can only tell you what what it means to me. Now for me, it's complete. The way she talking, her attitude giving her like she would be like a seven point five. All the girls like eight point five nine. Four thirty one. Hey, four thirty one. You still what you doing up, Shadow Chaser? Mr. Chase, what you doing up, man? Yeah, I say she like a 7.4 side, but an 8, 9 overall, though. Complete selflessness. I am satisfied in serving. Say what up. I'm a servant. Say what up. And I watched my chaser. mother serve all mm, my life. Say what up. You know, to and you it was too, rain, Mr. sleet, or Shadow slow. Chase. I think we talked about this on the phone. Yeah, the internet's going to be on her ass. I'm a, the, the internet's about already to be on her ass. So, bro. people who don't know yet, everybody's upset at this. I'm um, going to say everyone. A lot of women are upset at this because they feel like she's. Um, she's <laughs> Yo, Moses going to space. space. You know what's so interesting about Say what up to you, too, uh, mister. In Arabic, Abdul means. <laughs> Uh, the servant of. So you'll see a lot of people named like Abdurrahman, Abdurrahim, and stuff like that. So there's a lot of like variations. But like, you type it in, on the computer or it's the phone. idea that you serve God. Mm -hmm. So you're you're serving. Yeah. But like you know, nowadays, the idea of serving is like seen more as like something beneath, yeah, beneath like, yeah. like slave like. Yeah. But when you think about the most honorable jobs, you're serving on the court, you're serving as a, a like whatever a firefighter yeah. or whatever yeah like it's the idea it's like it's we kind of gotten to the point where like we feel like we're above serving anything but I'm, think, I'm serving I think, myself i think the, the concept of serving no, that that's just the way people everybody think it's either you out for yourself or you ain't doing nothing everybody want to be nowadays being selfish is the way that's the way Social media has normalized. Should be, Everybody especially, if, especially if it's of a, a, of a good Ain't result no or a good deed, should be humble, not demeaning. 100%. And I, but I think that's why I think people view the terminology as demeaning, as demeaning yeah. instead of humbling. Um, my mother's love for my father wasn't conditional. It's not my responsibility, but it's I your joy. It is my joy. You know, I, I love to see him eating a meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Like every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I never. Shut up. Oh, say that to me, man. Don't say so that. Hey, let, me, let me, before we can go on, let me be clear. I, I personally don't agree with everything she's about to say. But Nigga, it's I so odd to me how so many women. Because to <laughs> me, the, the up, concept boy? of feminist should be having the choice. Oh, you talking about like everybody has the ability to choose what they want to do. It's they so just odd randomly to me disappeared on your keyboard. When you hear women choose this path. They're like, mm. they're like no, <laughs> no, <laughs> ah! you're setting us back. Absolutely not. And it's like, bro, y'all have a choice. Like that should that should really and truly be where y'all want to be. Is that every woman has a choice? So if some women want to be a servant to their husband or serve them or. Or try to just better the life when, in any possible way. And that's what they should want to do. Yeah, but if you want to go out and work, that's something. what you want. You, you do that as well. But having the choice, t telling somebody that they can't do something is crazy. Regardless of how much you disagree with it, bro. She do what she want to do. If it works for her. I'm happy she said that too in the beginning. Yeah. That this works for me. This is what works for me and my relationship. I'm happy she said that. No, when he's asleep. Because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic. No, see, that but crazy. that's like. No, no, nigga, no that's no, pretty. That's pretty not, bro. You never what? Are you asleep? Because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic. No, see, that but that's crazy. like. No, no, nigga, no that's no, pretty. Be in that motherfucker. You never what? <laughs> Are you know that I'm sleeping because you you're you're like you had you know my breathing patterns? Yeah, your breathing slows down. You no, know, I get that. I can tell when you're asleep because you snore loud as fuck. No, but then I you know what's so crazy? My girl told me like I guess she did the same thing. She was like, oh no no like I know like if you flip over and you on your stomach you don't snore. Mm -hmm. And I never thought about it like so what you you flip me over? <laughs> 
<laughs> Be that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, man. I never thought, like, how the fuck do you know that? Are you fucking, like, are you, are you telling All right, my, boy. I my see stomach you. versus my side and my back? Just know that's when I'm like, oh, I can stop now. But I find joy in being your rest. And it shouldn't be conditional. A part of that so lack of to conditions, sleep. too, means that she you cheap. do your duty joyfully regardless of what's yes. being done for you. That's it. But in the art of submission yeah, from me, because I can't speak so for everybody, when I go to sleep, is probably being be joyful welcome. about it. You know, it that That's want crazy. of, and I think so it, not even just a want, the power of knowing that you when you go to sleep, you have the I'll power to make someone's be day if better. I sleep, you'll be woke. And that's a choice and easier. Yes, better and easier. That's, that's a, a choice that you have to make. Great time I track. always make the choice to do it. I always make the choice to do that's it. I, I like to give. Yeah. I like to allow my person to lead. They know, especially like when it translates in the bedroom, I like to feel dominated. Just like you. <laughs> Just like you. Dominated is crazy. <laughs> she said it like that. It's crazy. Dominated. But FY, FYI, the way that she said down, that is, Rick. Is, I think will probably give women more, more, um, a better perspective because she sat in and said it's powerful. Yeah. So she made sure she put like a dominant trait behind me having the choice to do these things and make yeah, this yeah, person's day. And then she viewed as powerful, which <laughs> FYI, that is a, a great way to look at it because I do believe there's definitely some power, some, some, um, a lot of importance to like, yeah, like having, having the ability to make somebody's day or having the ability to raise kids or having the ability to just be able to piece things together. Even though we, we sit here and we clown on women who sit here and say like, oh, I pick out the, the, what the couch you in the, in the uh, household. Like the more and more I, I, I become older and the more busy I get, I get, I do understand the value of a woman just taking care of things like that. Cause I personally just don't want to. For However, for there's a lot of things that when those women speak, they don't articulate their 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 uh, what their worth is the way that she's doing, and the only thing that they say is I'm picking out the couch, and I'm like, okay, but well, what else are you doing? You know, riding dick ain't always my favorite position because I like to be taken advantage. Oh my gosh, no, I don't like to be taken advantage. Yes, I like do. to feel. We know what you mean, though. We all know what she meant. We know what she meant. Yes, you, you do. Know what I'm she knows what she yeah, meant. Yeah, we know what she meant. But we she can't she slip up like that. Yeah. Because it's a the women. Mr. Shadow, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Women who are trying to push back, that's what they like. You're right. No, you what? said it. You are being. You almost yes. said it. You're being taken. You're almost there. You almost You're got almost it. there. That's Keep like going. That's, that's, that's okay. I like to be degraded. Remember? Yeah. Those are languages that I like and I accept. I do. But <laughs> if I'm comfortable and if I trust you. So just know what that means. Yeah. Know that damn. Easy as with your partner. Two, I think of relationships and submission and being submissive is like it's like an eight count. Know that dance. You better know that five, five, six, seven, eight, one, dishes clean, two, laundry, three. If you have a long day and you fight in the world, you will never come back and fight me. You will never come back. <laughs> Okay. Okay. No. See, shit like this is Good what night, they Mr. don't say. On, shit, shit like that her, man. is Turkey what they murder. don't see in the stop other videos. This woman, man, for she says such <laughs> stuff. This is the things that men love to hear that other women don't say when they're trying to articulate them. Skin He got this fucking video, it's short. And he's gonna report to you like, don't wait. What the fuck is you waving for? Shit, I can't find it. Fuck it.
themselves. Yeah, bro. Someone cut her mic right now. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, the other women when when they try to like say these same same things, they they never ever bring up like a man's piece. Like they the never ever rated. talk about Man, ugly, just son. like trying to oh, continue like the objective of finishing the day peacefully. They never they never say things like that, and I can tell that they're very combative the way that they okay. like speak. Back and walk into a space that is not welcoming you. Mm -hmm. You know. Do you think that this is controversial in some capacity? Absolutely. To some, it could be enabling. You know, and someone told me one time, they're like, you're enabling him. And I told him how that made me feel. And well, he was like, oh, work harder, like enabling to feel good. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with people enabling to what? Yeah, what did, I don't understand that. The idea that, but also, why is it OK that why is it again? I don't agree with everything she's saying, but when men are enabling women, it's just viewed as like it's it's OK, because to an extent, men do the exact same Look, thing. If I wasn't so fucking tunnel focused on my work shit, if 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 the rules were reversed and I had a girl and she felt like that, she was making bank and she man. She would come home to zero issues, man. Yeah. She would cut everything. I might have a red carpet for her when she touched down on the door. But I can't help the way I am, bro. I really just, I can't. This is just what I do. I wish it wasn't that way because this feels way harder. I mean, but I don't know what her life is like and how hard it is. But, like, I want to create, like, a media conglomerate. Like, you can't just do that by accident. You kind of have to dedicate your life to that shit. So you come home and there's a problem at home, especially if it's over nothing. Like, over the smallest thing. Stop. Yeah, cut it out. What are you getting from all that you're giving? What are you asking for in return? That's you know, it's interesting, and you saw my reaction when I was like, you say that? You asked for that? You know what I mean? I think that I have gotten better at saying the things that I need, but if I don't get it the first time, I don't like to say it again. So would you do what you're doing for a broke dude? No. What, what do you call broke? requires your financial support as no. well. Exactly. No. No. I mean, she got that shot. Uh, she said, she's like, no. Wait, the fact that you fucking asked me? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's, that's, and that's, and that's, that's what we thought, though. We thought she that. couldn't do it because she, she had to work more because exactly. somebody has to make bread. Exactly. She would have to work more and then she would have responsibilities of doing the things which would then not allow her to have the emotional capacity to be as open to to him. <laughs> but I but let's be clear though, I'm happy that she also acknowledges that because to the men who who want these things out of a woman, you have to understand the only way that she would be able to be open to that concept is if like you are willing to take off a lot of the burden off of her shoulders for her to do all the things that she does because everything she's saying that she does sounds like a woman who has the ability to not really worry about much of anything outside of her man. And so if you are taking care of all the other aspects in her life and she can really focus on who you are as a person to be there and like she said read your mind for you you would have to be able to take care of all of her wants and needs what are the requirements from a man to bring to jazzy in order <laughs> to get this level of love from you um i think it's how you make me feel no, um i have to feel just safe lie. with you emotionally i have to you have to excite me I need edge. So all this cute, soft shit that money, I need him to be emotionally this, I do need that. But I also need some edge. And I also need a man that is like, rich. you know, like I am a submissive. So like in a way, my love language and sex is like, you. I like for you to tell me what to do. So sometimes it's like, just sit your ass down somewhere. It's like, oh shit. Do you need an alpha male? Yes, only. Jesus, Only. Bro. She, God, she but she's her. saying it. She's saying Man, that. So. She's saying it like, how yes. dare you even ask me these dumbass questions? Of course. That's what, that's what I'm describing. Can you not tell? And, you know, and I think men are confused on if they are or not. And if you are confused, you're not one. Mm. <laughs> wow. What is an alpha man? I think in my experience of an alpha male, it is somebody who Good is point. respected. You know, walks in the room and everybody just kind of like feels their presence. Some people can interpret submissive. That's a rare, that's a rare right. individual. That's Man, I, I'm just thinking Jeez. like, bro, if I'm at a, if I'm in a lounge, what, what man will have to walk through the door for me to like, oh shit, oh shit. 
Like yeah. Shaq? He owns a bunch of lounges in Atlanta. Next to him. It depends on what room, though. It has to be a, a certain really type of room. caring. Because, if, like, technically speaking, if a principal walks into a classroom, Ooh. everybody like, oh, oh, oh. So in that room, that nigga's alpha. Alpha as fuck. But if that nigga's at a lounge, that nigga's a regular beta nigga, dog. No cap. That nigga's a regular degular nigga, dog. But I get that, though. I get that. So, you, yeah. Huh. That's so fascinating. I just feel That's like one I, way to describe a, it. She just needs to say money, though. She needs to say money. She needs to stop they, beating around the bush. Yeah. Also, fantastic questions. F- fantastic. Hey, man. We watch a lot of people try to interview other people. This is how you get it done, dog. No cap. This is a pro right here, man. Facts. This as, like, anything goes. Like, I'll put up with anything. No. No way. I mean, like, I think anything goes for sure if you're comfortable with the person. Because I'm doing shit I never did before. I'm just like, I would have never done this. But you know what? I'm comfortable with this person and I feel safe. Do you have an example? Anal. Whoa. Whoa. I thought we were talking about, like, Oh, like oh. practical things in life, like oh, I've never like done skydiving or some shit. Wow, you know her, head, man. Dude. Yo, man, she does it all. Yo, that nigga gotta be crazy, Alpha dog. Yeah. So that right there is the original clip. That's what was being said in its full context. We didn't want to take it out of context. It's not like a great convo. However. A lot of people then, especially women, started to reacting to this concept of submissiveness. And of course, good old Brittany Renner, she had a lot of things oh, to say. Oh, I was man. just thinking, what's her take on this? Man, what is her take, man? It's painfully obvious why men love the idea of a submissive woman. Submissive, per its definition, is ready to conform to the authority or will of others. <laughs> the prefix sub means under. Think of subpar, submarine. In short, your world is under his. Now there seems to be a theme here. Good girls versus bad girls. A lock that can be opened with many keys is a broken lock. And if you can't submit to a man, you're gonna die alone. So my question to men is, do you want perfect Polly? A puppet, a prisoner, or a partner who has no problem overtly challenging you? King treatment? Is that, there you go right there. Oh, that, why, why the fuck? First why, of all, why, why, you I don't, like, saying challenge no, immediately this, this turned a lot of niggas off just like that. Yeah, bro. Just cha- just challenging is are not happy. You are miserable. <laughs> I'm not taking advice from miserable people. As a happy person, tell me what the fuck worked for them. Hey, I need, is there another person who had a take that's maybe happier in their life and their life is a little bit less of a disaster? I, I'll, I'll hear them out. I mean, that was, that I was, don't that, was to say. that was Shan. I mean, Shan was, yeah, was I'm, I'm, Shan sounds like an expert on yeah, the topic. Exactly. I, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Absolutely. Bro, Brittany Renner is like a fucking dumpster of like chaos. I know. And just like bullshit. Like no one's gonna take you seriously outside the fact that you have a great body. And those people just wanna fuck you. Yeah, bro, getting advice from her on relationships would be like it's you getting uh, fitness good. advice from me. Like we're not there yet. So why the fuck you got like people tell me when they go outside like you lost a whole bunch of weight, Aging, what'd you do? I'm like, bro, follow the experts, dog. <laughs> like you asking me like I'm not just like you. Yeah. Bro, you are in a position to even advise, but your opinion and, and it's really the judgment that's driving like it's, it's a it's, it's a judge because at the end of the day again we, even to be fair we we do judge but at the end of the day bro no we laugh works, i mean we laugh but what works for you no i judge some of these women <laughs> <laughs> I judge them. but what works for you works for you dog and that, and that is and that is 100 percent for a fact and then if if i disagree with how it works, you said at the end of the day bro if everybody is different in the world, then shit, so be it, man. You just got to deal with it. If you don't, we don't want to. At least, it's simple. I just don't get how it's that hard for people. You know? Works for you. Relationship life. I'm on that. No addiction, in it, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you really want love again, you can really find some love. Ask you questions. Yeah. Like I can, I can disagree with it or not. I can disagree, but I can still understand it and I can still respect it. But. If that's you, that's you, and I'm gonna ask questions the same way Shan, Shan was doing with um, Jasmine. Jasmine, but I'm not gonna see here. And once you further explain it to me, I'm not gonna see here and just like degrade you, saying that you're underneath somebody. Like, no, that's that's crazy. And knowing your partner's love languages, that's one thing. Being submissive is a whole nother thing. It's its own thing. If you find yourself abandoning your wants, needs, desires to make something work. I'm here to tell you, it was never a match to begin with. 
That's not that's not a bad take. That's not a bad take. That last that, part wasn't bad at all. I think it wasn't, right. but that's not the premise of being submissive because like we just sat here and saw the young lady who was submissive say, that is what her wants and needs are. To give? Yeah, to give. She sat there and she actively said, like, that's my wants and needs. So I think that's the problem with a lot of people who don't understand the concept of submissiveness. Because I genuinely believe the women who want to be submissive, they, they genuinely like that. Like, they genuinely want that. They view a lot of, like she said, power in that. They find that empowering to be there for their man in some in that capacity. So I don't, I don't think that in their mind they're thinking, like, I have to be, like, underneath him to make his life better. That's the only thing. They, they have no problem with that because that's what they genuinely want so i i don't i don't i don't see the problem with it if that's what you genuinely want i agree with her though if you're doing it for the sake of like you believe that like i just gotta do this to be in a relationship with him then no then yeah i agree with that you shouldn't be doing that shit because that's just not how you participate in love but like the other woman said bro like that's that's her love that's how she gives love anyway if you want to see just how successful Brittany renner's relationship is we had a great laugh at <laughs> this video right here gotta watch it we'll catch you guys in the next one peace Ha, 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 ha.